Hello everyone, welcome back to Computer Zen again. Now today we will learn about the topic Switch case statement in C. Now basically I will show you a program where actually we will apply the switch case statement. So from the beginning you are writing hash include stdio dot h hash include conio dot h as usual the system input output int min and we take the inputs int num equals to 8 we are taking this input over here switch num case 7 is to printf the value is 7 then we'll apply a break statement next will be our case 8 it says printf The value is 8. Again, in the next line, we are applying break statement. Now, why, why we are applying this break statement, I will explain you in the later part of this video. First, let us complete. Okay, the next is case 9. Printf. the value is 9 next apply break statement now we are at the end of this program so we are giving default now in the default statement we are going to write printf invalid input will write invalid input then in the next statement we will apply break then the closing switch case packets after that return 0 and the program ends now we will see the outputs but before that please don't forget to subscribe our channel now let us see what are the outputs so this is the full program and this was this is the full program and now we will see the outputs so we will compile it and we can see the value is 8 because we have taken the number int 8 and in the switch case the choice 8 was there so it printed the value is 8 we know that hash include is dio.h is the preprocessor conio.h is the system input output Then we int num we took it as a variable declaration. It's a declaration and we took the choice. 
the value of the choices then here you are starting the switch statement Now we come to the cases and now here we will search and then we will find out if the value of the num is present in any of these cases or not. This is how a switch case works. Now coming to the break statement, break statement is applied because if we get the value like if the value is 8 then after that the choices of case 9 and default they will not execute because we have already got the value which was in the num. So the program will not go further, it will stop there only. So that is why we apply break after every case Now if we change the value of num from 8 to 10 then it will give the invalid input. If suppose the value of num is 10. Now if we compile it, it, will, it is giving us invalid input. Similarly if we change the value, if we again change the value from 10 to any other uh, number such as 6. It is again giving us invalid input because the case 6, case 5, case 10 is not there in the program. We have 3 cases, case 7, case 8 and case 9. So if any of these 3 are not present then it will definitely give an invalid input. So here is the total program which I am going to show you. So this is the total program of a switch case. And we have taken input in this program only.